Good day to all of you. I am Dr. Ganesh. Welcome to another chapter of Eat for Health. Today I am going to talk about a particular food which uh, most of us are very familiar with. We probably would have had it several times a week or maybe uh, has uh, taken it when we go out to restaurants and it's a very common delicacy. And this food is made from this particular uh, uh, a product and this is known as the lentils lentils are an ancient food probably existing in recorded history over 8,000 years it explains uh, why its presence throughout the world in the Middle East in Central Asia, especially in parts like India, in the Eastern Europe, uh, Americas, and it's uh, it's a very uh, being a very uh, small uh, plant, but it has a very mighty uh, nutrition. It's a common delicacy, especially among Indian homes, and it's very easy to prepare. It, uh, it cooks very quickly, and it can be added with spices and other condiments. There are many types of lentils, like here, we have this uh, yellow split piece, uh, commonly known as uh, dal, and then we have this uh, orange colored uh, lentils, known as the masur dal. And these small lentils here, uh, it's also known as uh, uh, pigeon lentils or Bombay dal. Okay, so these are the very common ones available in the markets. But what makes lentils so powerful, so uh, full of energy, is uh, their one is their antioxidant power. I did mention in my last video on protein. I mentioned about the total antioxidant capacity of lentils which if you can see here if we put a chart okay and uh, we have here we have uh, green beans yeah we have green beans here and then we have red beans here and then we have kidney beans here and then we have chickpeas here but lentils surpass them in antioxidant power they are very high in antioxidant total antioxidant capacity so what uh, what are the other nutritions available in lentils they are also very nutrition packed one important uh, uh, element that's found in lentils is uh, known as molybdenum. Molybdenum is an element, it's a very trace element, uh, not known to many of us, but it's a very important uh, element used in many enzymatic reactions in our body, which helps to balance our health. And also, it also helps to break down uh, toxins in our body so that it can be excreted out in uh, through our urine and uh, fecal matter so there are other other uh, nutrition uh, uh, that are rich in uh, uh, lentils one is it's rich in magnesium magnesium is rich in uh, b6 B3 is rich in folate, it's rich in uh, iron, it's rich in uh, manganese, rich in fiber, 100 grams of lentil has about close to about 10 grams of fiber, so it's very rich in fiber and it's also rich in uh, uh, phosphorus 
it's also rich in the what else can say? yes protein it's very high in protein it has almost all the essential amino acids and of course it has some amount of uh, carbohydrates carbs but are low they are a low carb diet okay, and it also has uh, zinc in it zinc okay so these are the uh, nutritions uh, that are available in lentils so when you take some lentil every day you're getting you're getting all this nutrition into your body right so you don't you when you take lentils regularly you may not need to take much supplements or you don't even have to take any uh, 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 nutritional supplements so let's go to the health benefits of lentils what are the health benefits seeing is how nutrition packed so we can see the health benefits one is let's start with fiber it's high in fiber so I did mention in my last videos about fiber fiber rich foods help in our digestion which means it helps in a good uh, promoting good gut bacteria so it helps in digestion okay so it also helps in a good gut bacteria growth so it also helps in uh, with high fibers which means it reduces the absorption of fats so it's a good uh, food to help uh, to help reduce weight so it reduce absorption of fats so it's very good uh, to lose weight with uh, taking a lot of lentils uh, on a regular basis so being high in fiber being high in uh, magnesium the next thing it protects your heart it protects your heart so it has uh, there is a there was a study done uh, many years ago it involves countries, uh, it, it involves uh, the United States, Finland, Netherlands, uh, Italy, and uh, former Yugoslavia, and Japan. So it, these countries, they took a total of 16,000 individuals. So in the US, they had, uh, US, they had uh, high meat, the high meat diet diet okay and uh, what else uh, in Finland Finland and uh, Netherlands they had uh, dairy high in dairy high in dairy uh, diet whereas in the southern southern Europe like Italy Italy and Greece They have uh, they have legumes, so basically the Mediterranean they have legumes and uh, some amount of seafood. Huh? Seafood, okay, uh, yeah, and some wine as well, a little bit of wine there. And uh, also they had uh, okay Japan. Japan had uh, cereals, uh, a bit of seafood and legumes. So these two countries had some amount of legumes in their meal compared to the other two countries like US and Finland. So these countries showed the highest amount of death. Highest amount of death among uh, the 16,000 individuals. Whereas countries like Italy, Japan, Greece showed an 82% reduction in heart, heart diseases. So what can we conclude from this study? We can say that legumes are very protective to your heart.
So that's the conclusion. That's that's the study all about. That's what. So it's very good as a food uh, substitute for those having heart conditions, having a, a high blood pressure, and even being very high in uh, uh, fiber. It also helps to control blood sugar. So it controls blood sugar as well, which means it uh, helps to stabilize uh, blood sugar level. And being also high in antioxidants, it helps to release free radicals and reduces insulin resistance. So it, it reduces insulin resistance, which means improve in uh, what is uh, control blood sugar so which means probably there can be reduction in medications or you can stop your medications so it's a very good substitute food substitute for those having diabetes and uh, because of its antioxidant power, it helps to reduce free radicals, improve uh, insulin sensitivity. Okay, so and also it's high in iron, very high in iron, which means it's good for your blood health. So good for the blood health, Pro grows your red blood cells which means increases uh, oxygen uh, carrying capacity among uh, throughout the tissues and uh, being uh, rich also in magnesium rich in magnesium which means also helps to uh, relaxes blood vessel walls brings blood pressure down high in folate uh, rich in folate which means good for nerve function improves uh, enhances memory uh, good uh, neural uh, nervous uh, n uh, function so overall it's a very very nutritious food very very healthy food so lentils have uh, should be should be a source a good source of protein as opposed to meat and also it uh, should be taken as a regular on a regular basis at least two to three times a week and overall, countries that take a lot of lentils in their diet live the longest. So it's also been shown to prolong lifespan. So I'm going to share with you a simple recipe which I've uh, made here. It's, uh, I've cooked some lentils and this is a uh, split peas which I've cooked. It's uh, cooking in a slow cooker. It's already cooked. You can see here. So here I have some cooked here and you can see it's been cooking for nearly four and a half hours. So in this ingredient I have added uh, this uh, split lentils, okay this dal and I've added uh, some uh, uh, mustard seeds and a bit of uh, turmeric powder. And I've cooked some mushrooms here, which I'm going to add in later. And of course, garlic and some onion. I don't have to tell the the amount, which most of us know, uh, most of you that know how to make dal. So you can cook it according to your taste and your flavor. So what I'm going to uh, modify here is, so I've prepared some uh, dal here, right here, you see? So this is the prepared dish here. So right. So now I'm going to take some some mushrooms. Just take. I'm going to take some uh, mushrooms here. Let's cut them. Okay. 
so this is just an option man okay so mushrooms are very healthy I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, some chopped almonds just to add a little bit of uh, crunchiness Okay, so so here you get your simple lentil uh, soup here. You can just uh, take it or you can eat it with some bread or you can just eat it just like that. So two servings of this a week or more will most certainly protect your heart. And with all the nutrition that is packed with it, you're definitely going to lead a healthy, long life. So until my next video, uh, stay healthy and live long.